What's going on YouTube? DJ here with 2 Raw Gaming bringing you another video. We got some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero news. Honestly, I wasn't expecting any news until next week, um, like around the 20th, 21st. But we got it this week. Um, I think it was like a day or two ago. I would have had the video uploaded already. But Houston just had like a huge storm. And our power's been out. And like it's it's just been a pain in the ass. So... We're here today. We're going to drop this this video. Uh, we have some V-Jump scans, of course. Uh, this time, though, we only have uh, one uh, image for, for the scans this month. I just ate an ice cream um, sandwich, and, like, now my mouth is really, really, like, just mm, moist. I don't, I don't, no, nah, 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 it sounds weird, but whatever. All right, anyways, uh, so this, uh, this month's, um, Character reveal says, uh, new generation science or science, however you want to say it. Uh, sparking, sparking characters files number four. We have Kit Trunks, Goten, uh, Kale, and Khalifa. Khalifla, I should say. Um, no Kaba though, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe they don't like Kaba or, or I, I don't know what's going on with that. But, anyways, go ahead and zoom into the uh, photo here. Um, so, go ahead and zoom up here on Trunks. So, Kit Trunks, he has his normal form, and then he has his Super Saiyan form. Uh, so, he's, of course, got the Finish Buster, and I don't think they show his a move for... Okay, yeah, it doesn't show a Super Saiyan move for him. It says, a uh, character with high firepower specials and key attacks initiate a one-sided onslaught of long-range attacks on your enemies. I figured Trunks would be long-range uh, just because of Vegeta. Uh, they both have a tendency to try to fire blast from from a distance during their fights, um, and then of course you know Vegeta can also uh, be be a little uh, cocky and, and and charge in and think he he can he can outclass people in the hands, and most of the times he's the one getting outclassed. But anyways, uh, so yeah, so Trunks has his finish Buster attack here. Uh, it says uh, this stubborn young man. It says rush down your foes with key blast. So that's that's pretty much it for for. Uh, for trunks uh, underneath that is the dragon ball sparking zero logo then it says age and gender are irrelevant in the sand battles promising rookies and female warriors make a grand entrance in this new entry um uh oh next we why does it keep doing that all right next we've got uh go 10 as you guys can see here uh, uh the normal form and super sand form uh, this is his headbutt assault attack uh, that he did on Trunks in the World Martial Arts Tournament. Uh, it says, he's great at close range fights. Transforming into a Super Saiyan will power up all your attacks. Um, close combat specialist, the playful boy, go 10 Super Saiyan. No, nothing too much there. Uh, it says, the female warriors from Universe 6 make a sparking first appearance. Uh, so, of course, like I said, we have Kale and Khalifla. I always get them two mixed up, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh-oh, I did not try to do that. Uh, let's see. It says, uh, playable characters on four, new generation. Sending this issue will cover, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, it says, ah, I keep doing that. It says, they appeared first in Dragon Ball Super, similar to the anime. I don't know why it says similar, similar to the anime if there's only a dragon. Okay, anyways. Uh, they possess spirit and power. Uh, that could overwhelm the male fighters. So we'll start over here and we'll go with uh, Kale first. It says a timid girl that adores Khalifla. She specializes in long range attacks. <clears throat> Once she transforms, she becomes a formidable foe with great offense defense. Now, if you guys remember, we already seen her berserk form when they showed off uh, the Broly stuff. So we do know she has multiple transformations. Uh, so this is her normal form here. And then, of course, her Super Saiyan form, which does not have the green hair. It has the golden yellow hair. Uh, she has a attack called the Resist Blast, um, and yeah, there's just no, nothing much to it. Uh, let's see. Uh, and, uh, back up. How do I back up? There you go. All right. Uh, Khalifla. Uh, she has a move called Crush Cannon. Uh, this is her uh, number form, and then of course her Super Saiyan form, which uh, honestly looks really fucking dope. Uh, she may have Super Saiyan two as well. I don't know, because I could have sworn she went Super Saiyan one and two. This looks like Super Saiyan two on the cool. But anyways, it says, she's seen as a leader to her gang of delinquent sands. Her abilities were already impeccable in her normal state. But after transforming into a super sand, her special attacks, her special attack, firepower, or skyrockets. So, 
there's that and then we get to the cool stuff at the bottom guys the fusion mechanic is back uh, i don't know if you guys remember but in the original uh tenkaichi series uh if you had let's say you had goten and trunks uh on on your team uh there was a way for you to fuse with both characters i think you had to um press the the, the transformation button and another button or some shit like that and if those two were both alive on your team, they would go ahead and fuse into Gotenks. So that mechanic is coming back. We It shows here Gotenks, Super Saiyan, and... Oh, yeah, here it is. Kefla, uh, Super Saiyan 2. No, 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 no. This is the fusion. Kefla is the fusion. That's not Khalifa. I was thinking of Khalifa. Maybe Kef... I think they... I think they both have multiple transformations. But anyways, uh, Gotenks is doing his Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. It says become even more powerful with Fusion. Fusion with the Potaro is also possible over on your phone. So, uh, Potaro as well, Potaro Fusion, uh, which would be Kefla and, uh, uh, well, Kefla is a, is a Potaro Fusion. Uh, Vegito is a Potaro Fusion. And then, of course, you have Gotenks and um, Gogeta as the uh, Metamorphin Fusion. And is there another one? I don't think there is. Uh, I'll... I, I'll get all into that into my when I do my what if videos though when it comes to fusions. Excuse me. Uh, and of course, like I said, team battles uh, is for fusions and it, team battles is it, it's right here. Look at that. They're like this new this new um, character I, screen that they got here. This is the first visual for the team edit screen. Like this looks dope. You you, you can see them standing around. Um, my guess is this is like online mode and that's why you can only see one team and you're not going to see like the other team or whatever so it says the fighters you select will gather on the screen it's easy to know the character selected with the up left with the upper left profile icon so that is a team right there up to five as you see it says uh sees victory in five e five battles you'll be able to play in five on five team battles select from a wide range of warriors to create your very own team Again, this is nothing new to the Sparking series. Like I said, Sparking Meteor, aka uh, Tenkaichi 3, had it. I think, uh, I want to say all of them had it, or it could have just been 2 and 3, but I want to say all of them. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, so the fusion mechanic and, and the team battles is nothing new. It's just stuff that is returning to the game, to the series, or whatever. And um, I'm excited for it. I, I love team battles. Hopefully, with online team battles, <clears throat> they do. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, one, almost one thirty in the morning. Hopefully, online team battles you can have up to like ten people playing. You know what I'm saying? You know, ten, ten. It's it's five v five, so it's ten characters, and maybe you can get your friends and shit, and like uh, face other people and stuff like that. So that'd be dope. But we'll see. Uh, kind of like I think I think they do that on uh, fighters with the three v three. So, anyways, that's it for the scan, guys. Like, um. Excited. I'm a huge Trunks and Gotenks fan. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about right here, it says uh, the release date for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero <clears throat> says 2024 according to the Singapore IMDA rating. This is making the rounds, but we should get full confirmation soon. Uh, and I will talk about that soon here in a bit. But as you guys can see, there is uh, Goku. Uh, it says Bandai Namco has won quite a few hearts, Sparking Zero, blah, blah, blah. All right, so this is the part we want to talk about. So, uh, according, uh, according to IMDA, there's this Infocom Media Development Authority, which is the official entertainment rating body of Singapore. It says, the game's recent res uh, registration on their mentions 2024 as the release, as the year of release. And if previous reports are anything to go by, specifically Sparking Zero already, I mean, also getting rated by the ESRB, which hints at an imminent launch as well. It's unlikely that this one's getting pushed to 2025 now. So we are looking at uh, a 2024 release. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but a few months back, I did do a video saying uh, that there was a huge, heavy rumor of the game releasing in October of 2024, uh, which would be fall of 2024. Makes a lot of sense because, we, like I said, we still have Dragon Ball Daima coming out in fall of 2024. So with that i believe you would want to capitalize and release both within the same time period because people have an anime to watch and then they also have a game to play and you may not get the diamond characters in the game until like uh uh 2025 when they start dropping a dlc but for people pe we've, we've wanted this dragon ball comeback since uh super ended like what six years ago or something like that uh damn super ah lee it's been that long anyways but yeah so 
that's going to be really good if the game drops 2024. Like I said, if it does drop 2024, I can definitely see a fall release of 2024. Now, the very soon, the confirmation very soon, uh, guys, is that um, Bandai Namco will be at the Summer Game Fest uh, this year. And it's heavily rumored that they will be dropping the release date of uh, Sparking Zero. If they drop the release date of Sparking Zero at Summer Game Fest, I fully expect if a beta is planned, if a beta is planned for this game, I fully expect for that beta to also be announced. Uh, um, not only announced, but also like a release date, a, re a date for the beta uh, given as well. So I, I, I doubt they go without making a beta for this game because I think they, I think the time that they put into this game, which has been what five, six years, I think that they want, they know that the sparking series was kind of like their bread and butter back then. And I think they want to kind of make it their bread and butter now, and they don't want to let their fans down. Like the fact, like, look how we're getting like a uh, uh, release. Like just look how big this game is among the community versus any other anime game that has dropped or come out. Like I, even if you like grew up, like, right, everyone knows what Dragon Ball is, but let's say you grew up and you're not a fan of Dragon Ball. I'm pretty sure you've played the Tenkaichi games and you've probably had a blast playing them with, like, your friend or something. You may not, like, been like, oh, yeah, I love Dragon Ball, but you're probably, you, you pick it, you're like, oh, shit, that's Goku, that's Gohan, yeah, 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 and like, oh, shit, let's play this game and it's fun. Like, Dragon Ball is, Sparking Zero is huge right now. Like, everyone, every, damn near every anime fan is probably waiting on this game to drop. And I think putting a beta and in the fans hands but you know just to test it even if it's for three days if they just do a weekend like i would be satisfied i think that i think that'd be a great thing i think um i think fighters had a week beta if i'm not mistaken it was like a week a week and some change or something like that or maybe maybe it was less i think it was a week um but uh, you know, like I said, they, they, they've done betas before. Sparking, uh, I mean, uh, Fighters, um, Kakarot Demo, uh, the, the survival game that's break Breakers, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, that, that game. So, you know, I, I, I think, um, I think we're getting a beta. I think at Summer Game Fest, they're going to announce a fall 2024 release date, and I think they will announce a beta to go along with that. Could be wrong. It's just what I'm thinking, so. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I will see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.